That's it. That's that key question. And when, when, when I grow up, my, my education, uh, at the time when I was a teenager, I was getting my, my political consciousness. Uh, I started to, to realize that most of the writers, of all the people whom I admire, politically, liter in, in, in literary terms, in political terms, most of them had been exiled or had died in exile. Because uh, I was the, I belonged to the generation of the grandchildren of those who fought and lost the civil war. So when I started reading and when I started to acquire a, 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 a political consciousness a, 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 and, and a, a sense, a, a very strong sense of opposition to the dictatorship, you, know, you always were look, was looking for uh, role models, you know? role models for you as a writer and role models for you as a politically engaged person. So you, you, you came to realize that in your country to be, to be a liberal, to be a progressive had meant for many, for, even for centuries, had meant that you were either expelled or killed in some cases. No? So what I came to realize was that the expulsion of the Jews was the first step in a pattern that was to repeat itself throughout the centuries. I mean, the expulsion of those who didn't fit, the expulsion of the heretic, the expulsion of the Moriscos in the 17th century. In the 18th century, the, the expulsion or the prison for, the, for those who belong to the Enlightenment. In the 19th century, the expulsion of the liberals, many liberal, many liberal Spaniards, went into exile after the absolutist king Ferdinand VII came back to power, no? Uh, so, and throughout the, 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 the 19th century and then the 20th century, uh, every time there was an attempt to, to, to establish a democratic system in, in my country, we were so unlucky that it, it failed, and it failed because these people were expelled. No? So, being a liberal, being a progressive, meant that you somehow or other belong to the same tradition of expulsion. <coughs> it is only natural that you develop an affinity with those who have been expelled. And on the other hand, if you come, if you come from a, from a from a, work, from a working class background and you go on to, to, to high school and then to college and you go to college with a scholarship you, you, you feel that you don't exactly belong to this world because this, this is the world of privilege no? I, mean, I, I, will, I, I, I am part of the first generation of working class children who in Spain went on to have a, a college education. So this is a, a social class issue. No? So you went to, to university and you were surrounded by people who were not like you, who belonged to the middle classes or the upper middle classes. So you felt slightly aside. No? You felt, you always felt a nagging sense of not really, not fully belong. And perhaps this is the reason, aside from, from obvious sympathy for the sufferings of, of people, no? this is the reason that I relate so, so strongly to the Jewish experience. That's why I have, I have been leaning toward it for a long, very long time. Because it comes naturally to me. It comes as a... I don't think, I don't need to, to, to think of it, I don't need to rationalize it. I immediately react, taking sides with those who are expelled, or those, or those who don't feel quite at ease, those who don't fit in. This is something I love. I, I'm not something I love. 
this is something I cannot help. 